Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction, and I have another quick and easy table runner for you today. And what we are using is a 24 inch strip that will be our back and our outer border, two two and a half inch strips, and one one and a half inch strip. Today I will be using my serger to put the runner together. You can use your regular machine, but I like the serger because how quickly I can get it done, how clean the runner is. This will be the center of our runner and we have one that is completed to give you an idea of our goal today. Notice I haven't pressed any seams and that's because I generally don't press until I know I have to cross that seam. On this particular runner we don't ever cross the seam so I don't press until I have the runner put together and ready to do the final steps. Now we have all of our pieces kind of sewn together. This is our center, so our last sewing step on this section is to create a tube. Okay, now I'm going to press and I don't, <clears throat> I want to get the center to lay down. I don't need to press the sides, I just need to press so that these seams are laying down. That way when I go to do the final press, they will all be headed the same direction and it won't be, I shouldn't have too many bumps or anything like that. Okay, I have them pressed. 
Let's turn our tube. And now we need to find center. And the quickest, easiest way for me to find center is to fold my fabric center and then center and I just press a little mark I open it up and I match the two go and I cut my edge so I have a nice straight edge. It'll be easier for me to to know exactly where I need to sew to keep everything straight. And I do it follow on a straight line on my board. I cut, I fold it in half, and I run it back through my circle. Same thing on the other side. I find my center. Put a little press. Go to the other side. Line them up so they know exactly where they are. Now this is because of the way the machine feeds. You get some of this one longer than the other. That's okay because now we're going to square it. Follow a straight line at the top, at the bottom. Square it. And then take it to your machine and sew. And I'm using a quarter inch for all of these and my serger gives me that. But if you're doing it on your regular machine, you'll want to do a quarter inch seam. Okay, I have all my parts sewn. I cut the threads. I cut just a little bit in that corner so when I turn it, it gives me a nicer point. So that point will come out very nice. Do the same on the other side. Take it back to your iron and do that last press. So then once you have it all pressed, the corners look beautiful, you have your next runner ready for your next event or just to decorate your table. As you can see I didn't get it quite straight in my pressing real quick. I'll go back and repress that section. But you get the idea. On a nice last minute runner, beautiful thing to decorate your table. Check us out at junctionfabric.com or click on the uh, link that is on this page. Thank you.